Hi everyone, I'm Kirsty from Creative Foundations. So today I'll be showing you how to create something similar to this. A bleeding tissue paper art piece with a positive message. I'll be showing you two different ways to create bleeding tissue paper art. In the first version I'll be using all art materials I bought from an art store. In the second I'll show you how to make your own materials using recycled products. As I did recognise that bleeding tissue paper isn't something we all have in our houses on a day-to-day -day basis. Both approaches are really fun, but they're also really messy too. So please make sure to handle all the materials with care. I definitely advise you use a protective cloth on any work surfaces you use, as both versions of bleeding tissue paper can cause staining. I'm pretty messy when I make my own bleeding tissue paper art. So much so, I'm known for having stained hands afterwards, which you'll probably notice in this video. To finish the piece, you'll then create your own positive message. I came up with this one myself, and you may want to do the same too. Alternatively, you could use a positive message you've heard before, or research new ones. No matter how you choose your message, Make sure it inspires you. So to make this first version of bleeding tissue paper art, you're going to need the following materials. The first one, which might be really obvious, is bleeding tissue paper. And the only reason I point this out is that all tissue paper isn't the same. So please make sure there is bleeding tissue paper. Then you're going to need watercolour paper, water, paintbrush, a piece of card, a pencil and some scissors. I always begin by making a stencil. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to stick with the theme of hearts. So all I do for this is get my piece of card, draw my design on it and then cut it out. I then use the stencil to draw my design onto the tissue paper several times. And then afterwards, I'll move on to a different colour using the same stencil. After I've drawn my stencil on all the different colours of tissue paper, I then cut them out and then position them on the watercolour paper. Once all the hearts, or in your case the shapes that you chose, are in place, this will be how the final design will look. Now it's time to begin applying water. And here you'll get to see why the tissue paper is called bleeding tissue paper. So all you need to do is to add water to each of the shapes that you created. And as you add water, the colour from the tissue paper will begin to bleed onto the watercolour paper behind. After applying water to each of the shapes, make sure to leave it a little while to let the water soak in. Then you can start peeling away the tissue paper and keep doing this until all the tissue paper is gone. I always throw my tissue paper into a pot as it does have a tendency to stain. When doing this activity it's probably best to have a protective cloth or some used paper underneath. Now that you've peeled away all your bleeding tissue paper just leave it to dry and you'll have your finished background. Now let's move on to the second version of bleeding tissue paper art. For this one you're going to need food colouring, a cereal box, some kitchen towels, some water and a paintbrush. You might want to create a template again, in which case you'll also need some card, a pencil and scissors. 
I definitely recommend using a tablecloth as this activity is very messy. Through this version, we're going to make our own bleeding tissue paper. So we start this by getting the food colouring and adding lots of water to really water it down. We then use the watered down food colouring and add it to the kitchen towel. This process may take a while as the watered down food colouring is really soaked up by the kitchen towel. My only advice is just keep adding water to the food colouring as you go along. And once you've finished painting, just move it onto another surface like I have here. As demonstrated here, I did this process with several different colours and even combined some of the colours together. Leave these to completely dry and then you'll have bleeding tissue paper to make your own art with. Now that your bleeding tissue paper is dry, begin creating your very own shapes. Here I'm once again creating hearts. And now that all the shapes are cut out, I begin adding water, just as I did before. I then leave them for a little while and begin to peel back the bleeding tissue paper. Now it's time to add your positive message. This might be your own or a positive message that you've heard or seen somewhere else. I always do this by creating a pencil line first and then drawing over it with a dark marker. And to finish off my wording, all I do is just add more detail. And there you have it, your bleeding tissue paper art with a positive message.